so these are all the different types of penalties. I'm going to breeze through this part because, again, this is hopefully we all are really familiar with the different types of penalties you can receive now. Um, yeah, I'm going to breeze through. Um, all right. Crime Sentencing Procedure Act 1999 shows respect to the sentencing options available to courts for persons found guilty of offences. So all those basically exist under those, that piece of legislation. The penalty given most is a fine with 35% and a bond 33%. Penalties under this law include home detention orders, community service orders, good behaviour bonds with criminal convictions, suspended sentences and good behaviour bonds without convictions. All right, here we have a 2017 amendment where we introduce new penalties, um, including conditional release orders, which replace good behaviour bonds without convictions, um, intensive correction orders, which replace suspended sentences, um, home detention and existing ICOs. So we had older intensive correction orders, but we replaced it and kind of in instead of having multiple things, we just kind of brought it into one and community service orders, which was replaced with um, good behavior, sorry, replaced other community service orders and good behavior bonds. All right. Tough and Smart Justice Reforms 2017-18. to 18. This was a catalyst for change as it was an attempt to reduce recidivism, improve community safety and support victims. The strongest sentencing laws, okay, um, were introduced to make the community safer, yes, and were also introduced um, because of uh, voting, elections, yes, election time, and we love to hear our Prime Minister and our state representatives and everyone stand up there and say i'm going to be tough on crime i'm not going to let time, uh, crime slip through the cracks i'm going to protect our community okay so that's also why it came in um it introduced the option of increased supervision of offenders released into the community and there will be a presumption that domestic violence offenders will either receive a supervised community-based sentence or will be automatically imprisoned, which was good. So if I were you, I could talk about this for um, types of penalties and talk about the protection of the victim and society, particularly domestic violence victims and society, okay? So you could talk about the tough and smart justice reforms and its effectiveness for domestic violence victims and society because they will be more supervised and more monitored and or sorry or just automatically imprisoned.